Hello friends! Today I uh, wanted to do a tutorial on uh, using drugstore makeup, inexpensive makeup, and uh, today I will be using Wet n Wild and Maybelline. That's what I use on a regular basis anyways. And wanted to show that you can still get a very nice look with inexpensive makeup because we know how expensive um, makeup can be. Um, this is an interesting video because it's starting out with basically any hardly any makeup on. Anyhow, uh, the first thing that I do is um, I apply a foundation. And what I use is Wet n Wild foundation. And uh, they have a variety of colors. This is a very nice one because it kind of gives you a nice polished look. And it has this little applicator. And I basically just put some kind of like under my eyes and then I smooth it around from there because what I find with me being over 50 years old if you're older you don't want to um, put too much makeup on and um, I find that if you do too much base makeup it kind of like really makes the wrinkles stand out more and uh, anyhow I just basically um, apply this around my eyes and I start with that first and I put a little bit right here but I don't really put it on the rest of my face the next step that I do is I use a white eyeliner and um, and this is a wet n wild just a plain white pencil eyeliner and um, the look that um, I was going to be showing you today I just kinda um, sorry I just kinda put it to where it's like on just like the inner part of your eye to kind of brighten it up. This look today that I'll be going with is to try um, is to brighten, give you a brighter um, look, make your eyes look a little bit bigger. Um, I find that um, if you put lighter colors towards the inner part of your eye, it's kind of a little bit more youthful looking. Anyhow, the next step that I do is I use a liquid black eyeliner, and that is Maybelline, and I just use the Maybelline black liquid eyeliner and I shake it up and I just take a little bit and I go a little bit more than halfway on the eyelid and I just kind of fan it up a little same thing a little bit more than halfway and I just kind of fan it up a little bit there and one thing important with this eyeliner is you want to store it standing upright. Don't lay it down because I was laying it down for a while and then it was like drying out and I kept thinking, it this is running out really fast. Well, what it was is that it just, the liquid, you know, wasn't properly in the bottom and you want to keep it upright <laughs> when you store it. And uh, the next thing that I use is um, I take... A little bit of this is just uh, wet and wild it's just a, a little small container of eyeshadow and this is like kind of like a nude color it's just a very light light beige color and it's not white but it's light beige and I just kind of apply it in this inner part of my eye here along the nose and I kind of go up here I don't go a lot over the lid. I just kind of go up in here to kind of lighten up the area and a little, just a little bit up by the brow area. But I find that if you put, like I'd mentioned earlier, the light color here on the inner part of your eye, it gives you more of a youthful look because this is kind of more of a naturally shadowed area that is. And if you lighten it up, it kind of makes a difference. I think it does. And it just, you know, kind of brightens it up and gives you a little bit more of a, a smooth look. But you can, you know, apply it however you would like. The next step that I do is um, I take a, um, it is a, excuse me, it's Maybelline and it's just a dark brown. I use dark brown at this area. You could use any color. I like the dark brown because I want to create a little bit of definition on the lower lash line and I just I'm not going not halfway and then I just kind of sweep it up on the ends a little bit and but you could use any color here um, if you wanted to give a different look you could use blues or you know all different types of colors but I do that do that for a little bit of definition I just kind of like you know smooth it you know in a little bit the next step that I do is I take Maybelline black like a charcoal black 
eyeshadow and I go over the eye liquid eyeliner and it just kind of fills it in a little bit makes it a little bit more wider a little bit more thicker a little bit more definition um, gives you a little bit more and you can uh, go if you're gonna maybe go out for the evening you may do this more dramatic and you could do it you know thicker and wider but you know for right now I just kind of doing just a small portion of it but you see how it's kind of starting to you know make the eyes look a little more open and bright uh, the next step that I do because I kind of let that dry is um, I use um, a the Wet n Wild bronzer, and this stuff's really great, especially if you don't have a tan and you and you want to, um, oops, sorry, and you want it to kind of give you a little bit more color. It works really good. Same thing. I don't put a ton on because I don't want to fill in a lot of wrinkles, and then it makes you look older. But I just kind of put a little bit on my forehead, and then I kind of put some on my cheek areas, and down here on the lower part of my face. But this. You can use with, you know, discretion as to, you know, how much you, you know, may want. And I just, um, I just use a little bit of that and I just kind of rub it in a little bit. And then the next step that I do is I take a, um, the Wet n Wild, I'm just going to be using mostly the brown here for this next step. And what I do is um especially because I have brown eyes but any eye color you can use this I just kind of take it and sweep upward if you're older this is an important step you want to sweep all the way to the brow because it's going to lift otherwise you know as you get older that's an area where it starts kind of sagging <laughs> And you want it to lift and you want to go all the way to the brow with this and that makes a difference if you only go halfway it's going to make it look even more um, slouchy you want to go all the way to the brow and and if I was going out for the evening I may do that with a darker brown or sometimes I'll even take the black and I'll kind of put that there and kind of blend it in and it gives you more of a dramatic. But that it's really important to get some of that brown there. And the next, I just use an eyelash curler. This is just a very expen inexpensive one that I got at the drugstore. And I just, I don't squeeze very long. I probably should squeeze longer, but um, I don't usually like to take the time. And I just go on the upper lashes and just kind of squeeze them to kind of lift them up a little bit now we all know that if you wear false eyelashes it really makes a dramatic look but we're just going with a natural look the next is just um a basic um, mascara this is a push-up angel and this is by maybelline and i find it to be a really good um, mascara they say you should shake it you can't feel any liquid moving around but for some reason they say you should shake it and I just kind of swipe upward on this and same with the lower. Some people prefer to go this way or on the tips of it because it gives it a little bit more um, thickness on the ends, but you don't have to. It's up to you. And same thing on this other eye. I just, you know, kind of like sweeping it up and also, you know, a little on the bottom. I don't put a ton on the bottom and then I repeat it. I go up and like I said, I don't do a lot on the bottom. If you want to go with definition on the bottom, but you don't want a lot, when you go down, just kind of go back and forth, just, just, just a teeny bit and it will it will sometimes fill your mascara in a little bit more. But we're just going with kind of like a, an everyday look. Just a real casual day look here. You don't want a ton of makeup on, but you want a little bit of makeup on. Now, when I go out for the evenings, there are times when I do my makeup much more dramatic. But for today, we're just, you know, kind of going with a basic look. And then... Um, I'm going to take that the eyeshadow again from Wet n Wild, the brown, and I, 
decided I'm going to add a little bit more up here because especially so that you'll be able to see it a little bit more with this tutorial. I don't always add it, but I figured I'd add a little bit more because maybe you'd be able to see the definition a little, a little bit more on the eyes. And I just use my fingers. I know you can get brushes or sponges, but I basically, you know, just use my fingers. So from there, the next step that I do is um, this works really good, especially if you're older and you have spots that you want to cover up. As you can probably see, I have a mole right here. Or I'm sorry, it's like an age spot. I have one here. and You know, a couple of little imperfections we all have. This is wet and wild, and it works really, really good. This is the wet and wild, and it's called the concealer. And I think it even says photo something but it's concealer on there and oops this works really good I shake it up same thing when you store this you want to keep it upright not lay it down and I always put a little bit under my eyes and I touch it on that spot as you can see before you could see that spot and if you just put a little bit on there and then just kind of dab it a little bit it really makes some hide <laughs> and I enjoy that and and also there's a little spot on my nose and I kind of just go a little bit here and you know I would apply it anywhere where maybe there's a little area that you want to cover up a little bit and I just take that and I just kind of I don't always use it under the eye but it does give it a little bit more of a polished finish look to where it looks a little bit more smoother and basically, um, that is it. This is just a, you know, a very basic everyday makeup. But you can see the difference. I mean, I, we're going with just a very light amount, as you can see. See, you can see the eyeliner, and it just kind of brings it up a little bit. Makes the eyes look a little bit brighter and a little bit more open, especially if you don't want a ton of makeup here. I will do it to where you can see it a little closer. and from a little bit more of a distance but I really like that um, there are two other things that I do like to do and, and that is a little bit of lip liner and lipstick and I will uh, get that just one moment <laughs> same thing wet and wild lip liner these pencils are usually only a dollar or two. Usually these white ones, they come in black. Sometimes I'll use the black eyeliner. They're only like 99 cents. I mean, you can't beat the price. Anyhow, I just use the lip liner. And I just go around and highlight it. And I know a few years ago, the really bold lip liner was real popular and where it really stood out. And I know that that look is not really something that's in style as much now. However, I still like a little bit of lip liner. This isn't really dark. It's kind of more of a neutral shade. And so it doesn't stand out a lot. And then any color lipstick. Today, I just got a little bit of pinky purple. Which I kind of like. And lipstick is something that's very personalized. You can take a tube of lipstick and try it on two or three different people and it's going to look different. It's one of those things it seems like. So it depends on what works for you. This is just a very basic light lipstick and um, I just think it, you know, is kind of nice. And then I would, you know, blot it off a little bit. And then the very last step that I do with this eyeshadow, that little pink right there, even though it's eyeshadow, instead of buying rouge, I just take... A tiny little applicator and I put a little bit on my cheeks just to give it just a very very small hint of pink and it just gives you a little bit of color especially in the winter time you know in the summertime you don't really need to as much because you already probably have a lot of color but I find that it just gives you a just a teeny you know little bit of a, a nice look there uh, but anyhow, this is it. Um, basically, 
all this stuff is very, very inexpensive. Um, I will, um, I will link, um, the products down in uh, the description for if you would like to find them on Amazon. I did buy these at the local grocery store, but Amazon also carries a majority of this. And um, they're very inexpensive products. And, um, you know, if you don't want to spend a ton of money, now there's times, you know, you may want to, you know, go out and, and buy different quality, you know, but, you know, of makeup. But I've been using the inexpensive stuff for quite a long time, and I've been pretty happy with it. Like I said, if I was going out for the evening, I would do this look a little bit more dramatic. It'd be, you know, much more, you know, a little bit, with the eyes and everything and but anyhow I hope you've enjoyed this today and uh, maybe um, you were able to get some great tips from it and uh, have a blessed day